has a record across the country of exploiting workers, violating workers' rights to form unions, paying poverty level wages. So Walmart announced earlier this summer plans to open four new stores in Washington, D.C. Our nation's capital does not need more part-time minimum wage jobs. We do not need Walmart in the District of Columbia to destroy our community. It's surprising when you talk to people about what Walmart you know, their practices, their business practices, the their, their things they do about their business model, a lot of people don't know about it. We want respect. We're really trying to hit the streets where we've got teams of volunteers out knocking on doors in neighborhoods all over the city to talk to people about Walmart. We're asking people to sign pledge cards. To talk to them about what they think a good job is and what they think, what kind of jobs they want to see in the community. We're going around trying to garner support from the communities that uh, Walmart plans on building their, their stores in. So it's very important to get out and, and, and get our side. You know, D.C. is the most unequal city in the country. That means the gap between rich and poor is the biggest. And we think D.C. deserves better than that. I think we're pro-good business. We think that workers in D.C. deserve good jobs where they have a voice at work. Um, and if Walmart is going to do business here, we want them to meet those same standards.